Hey yo, there he is again, JC3, James C. Speaks. Hey, so check it out, right? Let's talk about some people. What kind of people, you ask? Not the kind of people to start a debate or not the kind of people to start an argument or anything like that. These are people who have a habit, right? Not an addiction, but a habit. And I was, and sometimes am, one of these people. They're called the shoulda people. These are people that routinely say, I shoulda or I shouldn't have, right? Quit saying, I should have done this, I should have done that, I should have gone here, I should have gone there. Stop being a shoulda person, start being a I am or I did person, right? I am doing this, I am doing that. I did this or I did that. You're gonna look back and realize that you have spent majority of your life shoulda living. Don't be a shoulda, right? Stop being a shoulda. Just go do it. That's the mindset you gotta have. So if you flip some words in your sentences that show action, your mind is gonna be an action mind your body is going to be in action and the results will be of an action, not a thought or a wish, right? Stop wishing you did something. Stop shoulda. Do. Be a doer. Don't be a shoulda. Easy. I shoulda finished college while I was in the military, like a lot of my peers and friends and family, but I didn't. So now I am going to school, right? That's not a great thing that I am going to school because I am behind. It would have been a lot better if I would have or should have finished my degree early on. That way I could have came right out, took a little break, went in the job market. But here I am spending the next couple of years getting this highly sought after education, right? I should have done that. I should have taken more vacations. I can sit here and I should have all day. But what I'm not going to do is live another second of my life should have do something it's gonna be i am or i did change your mind to change your action to change your results you are a direct result of your last 24 hours no joke i started shredding on monday with uh josh holyfield i fell because on tuesday i started bulking again not on purpose just by poor decision making right so yeah on purpose um because it was easy. I smashed pizza. I smashed cheeseburgers. I did it all, right? So all that work I put in on Monday, woke up on Tuesday feeling good, feeling a little bit cleaner than I did the day before. I threw it away for nothing. I did that. I did and I do. It doesn't always yield the result you want. And it may not be something you're proud of. But if you can be honest with yourself and you know you're not going to do that again, instead of saying, I shouldn't do that again, like, I know I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So therefore, I won't. But if I sit there in that 30 seconds of regret and self-reflection at night, oh, man, I feel bad. I'm super bloated. I'm super heavy. I'm lethargic. I shouldn't do this again. Guess what? I'm going to do it because I'm not committed. I do. I am. I'm doing. Those are commitment words, action words. I should have is a hope, a wish. And I guess unless you say, I wish I win the lottery and go in there and get a ticket and win, wish doesn't work. Because guess what? It took the doing of buying the lottery ticket for it to win. With that being said, stop being a shoulda person and be a doer. Be a I am person. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, comment. Tell your friends, man. Get this out there. Let's talk about things. Let's do things. JC3.